All right, Rich, take it away. You're certainly a busy man in the Weather Center. Oh, well, I was going to say one of the tips I have, I remember one time uh, we went to Hawaii on, during a heat wave where it was in the low to mid-90s with some humidity, and I accidentally broke the condo without air conditioning. And so we learned, I learned one of the really good tricks is just stay wet all the time. I would get up and soak my T-shirt down in uh, the sink, and then with a ceiling fan, you stay cool. It worked out pretty well. So <laughs> weather-wise around here, you may need to do that, as a matter of fact, as we head on towards especially the latter part of the weekend to start next week. Shorter term, looking out, uh, looking back rather to yesterday, 83 degrees out at SeaTac, 10 degrees above normal. And our hot spot actually around uh, Puget Sound was Olympia, as it often is, hitting 85 degrees. It's getting uh, Olympia Airport being just a little bit away from uh, the water certainly does add to it. Also, the sound is much smaller down there and warmer. Checking the uh, te water temperature. Speaking of water, because people are going to be heading that way, we're going to talk about water safety uh, all summer long now, actually late spring and into summer. Water temperatures have warmed. In fact, Lake Washington now at 70, 64 in Lake Sammamish. Puget Sound actually has gotten up at least their surface waters up to around 60 degrees, but still pretty chilly. Lake Taps actually has fallen, but that's because I think there's, it's, it, there's more water flowing into it from the rivers, which are colder, and there's probably more being drained out of it for that matter. So uh, those two in combination have cooled it just a little bit. But the water's still chilly around here, even though it's getting, uh, at least Lake Sammamish is getting up into the mid-70s, but still want to be careful around the water, but definitely a good place to cool off here in the next few days. Checking the uh, shot there, looking out uh, from Everett, uh, waiting for the sun to really start hitting the buildings there, which is only moments away. We've had a deck of high clouds moving through, which has given us some pretty good uh, color to that sunrise. Still looking pretty nice looking back across to Elliott Bay. And checking uh, the view out along the coast, we've got a little bit of fog and low clouds. There might have been a little bit of drizzle out there within that fog as well. As they still are feeling the marine air along the coastal beaches, though they get hot, but not as hot as the interiors we head towards, especially Sunday. Avani High School in Olympia showing clear skies as well. Temperatures right now, upper 50s and low 60s most places. See uh, the mountains uh, looking pretty good right now with uh, a pretty good day headed their way with sunshine. Of course, you get up to the mountain passes, uh, temperatures are going to be considerably cooler than what we're seeing down here in the lowlands. Temperatures today getting into the probably mid-70s most spots at the highway pass levels. And checking our forecast over the interior, we're going to be looking for temperatures mid-70s to near the water in the northwest interior, getting into the mid to upper 80s as you head uh, inland just a little bit. Central and South Sound temperatures mostly in the mid to upper 80s. Coastal beaches, they're going to be looking for temperatures mostly in the 70s right along the ocean strip into the 80s as you move inland. And east of the Cascades, really starting to heat up with temperatures there in the upper 90s to low 100s already. And they're going to be in the 110 to 115 range as we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Here in the Puget Sound, we're just going to be looking for Mid to upper 80s today, mid to upper 90s tomorrow, and then over 100 degrees Sunday and Monday. A very slow cooling next week and probably staying in the mid 80s all the way into the 4th of July weekend. Whew. Yes. All right. Yes. Big sigh. Big sigh. <laughs> Definitely. Thanks, Rich.